All right, how y'all doing? I'm out here with the Caltech P17. Now, I don't know why they call it a P17 because the mags only hold 16. They should call it the P16. But this does, this is 17 with one in the chamber and it has a safety on each side. Now, I noticed when I shot it the first time, I tore it apart, I realized there's a, a contact issue right here on this bar that actually slows it down. They say you should shoot 40 grain high velocity. I'm shooting 36 grain high velocity Winchester white box 555. Five, five. I got three mags loaded. Let's see what happens. Now, if this thing fails, I might tear it apart during the video and show you where the contact problem is, which, which is slowing it. The only failure I had so far was it doesn't push in the, the round. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm going to shoot uh, the vintage <laughs> seven up bottles and then we'll see. Maybe I'll shoot the steel target. I got a lot of rounds here. Let's see what happens. This thing is light. I love it. It's light. I really wish it would work. Even though it's ugly, I kind of like that little knob right there. Let's go. What the hell? All right. One round, I mean one magazine. <laughs> A lot of glass flew around. Let's see what happens. Put the other one in. Weird mag release right there. I mean not mag release, but at least a slide. And there it stops. Alright. Let's see if it keeps going. We got 16 more. There. Going after the steel target there. I'm out of glass. Going after steel. Ooh. That was a failure to feed. I have one in it. I do believe it's empty. Hang on. It was not. I'm going to put them back in. Hang on. I think this thing's getting better. I think the more you shoot it, the better it gets. Let's shoot this steel target. Here. We're going to tear it apart and I'm going to show you the problem I see. One, you actually have to dry fire this 22. Shit, mag's got to come out. Hang on. You just pull. There it is. Now, you look where I got oiled, you can see the marks. And it's rubbing right here. 
So you got marks here, marks here. And all this is steel rubbing on steel. And I think that's the problem. Now get it back together, you still have to pull back on this. Well, feel. All the way back, let go. Now there, this is ready to go again. I got one more mag yet. Let's see what happens here. A little mag issue there. This thing has a problem. I think it's a little too much friction going on. I believe. Again. Okay. I do believe there's a huge break-in period. Maybe I burned up all that oil. Let me let me just try it again here once. It is pretty fast. There you go. We'll get you a close up on. Let me get behind it so you can see it. See those wear marks? Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's what's that's what's going on there. That's that's friction. And that friction is happening right there. So, we're going to have to put a lot of rounds through it, I do believe. And then, to put it back together, <laughs> you just, this thing is so, this is, thing is so funky looking. You put it on there. You pull this back. So you got to go all the way back like that. And then just, yeah, it, it happens. It just, it just freaking happens. You take the mag out, it happens a little easier. There it is. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's a bad gun. I think there's a problem. Look, look at the bow right there. It might be a design issue. I don't know. This, this video is too long. It feels good in the hand, though. All right. God bless. Let me know what you think. Bye.